Peace Pop Police purchased the plow truck, which is on the monitor, for those who don't want to look at the printed one. We haven't discussed this one at all. Uh, we've been waiting for answers from uh, the town attorney to our legal questions because it was understood from prior selectmen's meeting, uh, statements were made that this lease is going to be treated exactly like the lease on the trash trucks. And so we were waiting for an opinion on the trash truck second unit lease appropriation so that we could discern better what this means. And now we've got whatever we got, and we're going to have to work with whatever we got. So uh, with that, any questions, comments, whatever? Very difficult reading that. I mean, it's you. Article 27. 27? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it. It's a five-year lease purchase yeah. agreement for a six-wheel uh, Mack dump truck with plow, patrol wing, and stainless steel sander in the amount of $210,000 and $50. And to raise an appropriate sum of $42,010 to fund such lease purchase agreement in year one. Said lease purchase agreement shall contain a non-appropriation clause which you'll have to jump through hoops to exercise. Mr. Chambers. Yes, Mr. Bluff. This, this is a single unit to replace an existing plow wing and sander that's down there. Mm -hmm. uh, I could give you the number here, I think. Number 40. A 97 International, 4,900. Probably the town would not want to exercise the non-appropriation part of this if they were going to keep this truck to plow snow with. I wouldn't think they'd want to buy it for one year or two years and turn it back in. This is somewhat different than the problem we face with the two trash trucks. This town is going to do trash today, and six months from now, somebody might come up with something, or the, the uh, use of the dumping facility may change. Something in the trash industry may explode, who knows? And we might not want to keep those trash trucks five years for some unforeseen reason. This dump truck, I think, is pretty much a standard use of equipment in the town, and I think that it probably will be like the ladder truck was. Purchase, uh, pay the payments five years, town will own it and keep it. Mm -hmm. I would hope that they would service it and take care of it, and it would last. The other max we had that we bought in 88 and 89 lasted almost 30 years. I agree, Mike, that a trash truck and a plow truck are distinctly different things. That's right. Okay. But when we're saying they're, they're the same, we're talking about the... The lease. The actual contracts, the method of financing, mm -hmm. are exactly the same, mm -hmm. as has been right. described. Right, right. Most certain, et cetera. Right. So um, we're not saying that the truck itself, either plow or trash, are equivalent to each other. No. No, no, no. one's saying that. No. Right? Okay. But the clause in the lease, to escape, yeah. I don't think is critical to this as it, as it can be to the other two. You can still keep the clause in there. It doesn't make any difference. But Well, if we treat it the way we're treating the trash trucks, right, it doesn't make any difference because right. there's no ready way for the voters to actually it's exercise the clause, is it? Right. So it might as not, the clause may not, might, might as well not even exist. Well, they're going to put it in there, right? So they well, there's a reason for doing that, yeah. obviously. Right. It's a 50% vote requirement. Right. Mr. Warburg. I'm going to go back to the same issue we brought up the other day. And I'm going to use my expression, the little faith in taxpayers, based on what the, the town has presented. Because, Mike, you just brought up at the end of your comments exactly what another issue is about this. We paid this money for years. And we have asked, I have asked, 
citizens have asked to, to hire it. They should be hiring you to go in it. We see our vehicles that sit out there, they get ruined, they don't last, and, everything, and that's a concern <laughs> I have, and it's been going on a long time. And I, for one, I cannot understand for the life of me, and, and we said it the other night with the turnout gear, which we're all in favor of, and it's, an, it's a safety issue. But I'm sorry to continue to use funds because there are people I know that may want to vote for this, but they don't like the fact that, okay, they've already paid taxes and we've got money. And fiscal impact uh, note uh, is drawing down that. That's not, that is not the purpose of that fund. And I, I see too many of that in here. I, I'm just really torn because. Brian, I don't understand what fund you There's no, about. there's no, uh, uh, which, right here. This is not 86. Right. Yeah. 27. I'm 27. talking about. These plow trucks. Was, you not, said 27. It's 27. It's 27. It's 27. Plow 26. 26, Brian. 26. Yeah. Right, but it was on. I'm saying I've got a, I've got a sheet here from last one. Well, because well, everything gets changed. But, yeah, <laughs> you you understand that. Look at the screen. The right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, forgive me I'm on that. You're but forgiven. I but I still have an issue with. I don't know, Mike. I, we just seem to be throwing all these things, and my concern is there's never a program for maintenance. That's what I have a problem with. That's all I'll say. Anybody else? Regina. Well, if we're still talking about the 71,000, Article 26, five-year lease purchase for max six-wheel dump truck with plow, patrol wing, and stainless steel sander in the amount of 210050 Right. to raise and appropriate the sum of $42,010 <coughs> to fund said lease purchase agreement in one in year one. Right. Said lease purchase agreement shall contain a non-appropriation clause. Okay? So, I mean, I don't understand. It's not like we're trying to hide anything. It's a five-year lease purchase agreement. Now, I know everyone's going to blast me because I'm saying NHMA, but NHMA says that this can be separate than... It would be as of. But why did we do it together? Wait a minute, wait a minute, let her finish. As a bond. Right, but can I just. Wait a minute. I don't know. Why do we let trucks sit down there? The DPW. No, no, no. Hold on a second. But we're trying wait, to fix wait, it wait, now. Wait, 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 okay? What, what reference? Don't to, know why. What was the reference to bond that you made, Regina? You made a reference to a bond. The difference between this and a bond, you guys mm -hmm. keep bringing up the 50% and the 60%, because mm -hmm. it's distinguished. Oh, I see. And I don't understand how we're not being transparent. We're telling the voters right. it's five years. This is the fiscal note impact for year one, right. and that is the total note you. impact. Okay. So um, the reference is not simply to bonds. It's to any multi-year contract. The town meeting has the ability to appropriate money for the next year at 50%, with the exception of union contracts. Um, if they go beyond commitments beyond the next year, they need a 60% vote, like a bond as a commitment beyond one year, like a, a lease, a multi-year lease as a commitment beyond the, the next year. These require 60% votes. Unless you're raising a contract with a non-appropriation clause, then you only need a 50% vote. That's why we've got the non-appropriation clause in there, so we can pursue the 50% vote. The issue is not there. The issue is in subsequent year, um, Appropriations. When we have to appropriate the payment for the second year lease, like the trash trucks this year, the f cost for that was put in both the proposed budget and the default budget, leaving the voters with no ability to choose to not appropriate. Right. And so the non-appropriation clause is uh, severely weakened, if not rendered totally useless. Mr. Walburn. Isn't this, help me out here, aren't we, couldn't we link, um, lump this whole five-year lease issue or what we've been talking about before with the other five-year lease issue? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's more than just the funny, it's the leasing part of it and the appropriations. I believe, and I'll just tell you my own, my own yeah. belief on this is, yeah, I believe the DRA is correct in their recommendation that you should yeah. have a separate appropriation for it. Yes. I believe the approach that the selectmen are presently taking is effectively an end run around the voters in the 60% rule. And uh, I, I basically consider it illegal. Um, and 
since the Board of Selectmen and Town Manager and previous Board of Selectmen meeting has said they're going to treat this lease for the purchase of the plow truck exactly the same as the trash truck lease, then all I'm interpreting is, okay, this is an act which I consider to be illegal again. And of course, I'm not going to vote in favor of supporting anything I perceive to be illegal. Now, we can't get a legal opinion from anybody other than DRA, and they're not lawyers, but and they only can give advice, they can't do enforcement. And their advice was pretty much consistent with right. what I just said. And so we're stuck with, we can't go anywhere as a committee in terms of dealing with this, except in how we either recommend or don't recommend this particular warrant article, as well as treating the trash truck lease in the budget if we choose to do so. Did I cover it correctly? Uh, I think you did. Okay, Regina. Yes, I would argue that the Board of Selectmen received the legal inquiry from Town Council at the Board of Selectmen meeting on Monday night, who are five elected officials who all unanimously agreed that this was the way we were going to go about doing it, which happened to agree with the Town Manager and Town Council. Now, if you guys want to doubt those seven people and fight about it, go ahead. You know what? But this is the path we've chosen for the town. I think it's transparent. And I'm not going to give a legal opinion about it because I'm not a lawyer, but my board voted unanimously to go about doing it that way. Well, I'm not giving a legal opinion either, other than simply stating that I have to decide whether or not the votes I cast are consistent with the duties of my office and the oath that I take to that office, which of course requires me to be uh, in, in, uh, in harmony, at least, with uh, the existing laws. And that requires me to have some belief whether or not a particular action is in harmony with the laws. And I perceive this is not in harmony with laws. And so my vote will be on that basis. And that's all I'm saying on that point, Regina. I hope it's clear. Anybody else? Can I understand? Mr. Zanoy. Yes, thank you. This six, max six-wheel dump truck with plow, that's going to be used for what? It's not obviously besides snow plowing, right? What's it, what's, what's it going to be used for, Fred? Anything public works needs it for. Hauling material, transporting things. Sand. That's what it's for. <laughs> sand for a, It's got sand around it. Jerry, you sand. love sand, don't you? You just love sand. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's replacing one that's already there that's right. in tough shape. Yeah. I understand. This is this uh, with a plow that's gonna be right out in the roads and in the middle of our storms and 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 reacting to this, the road conditions accordingly. This is a, a good truck, according to Mike, Mac. So it's, a, it's kind of a universal use, Fred, would you say? Yes. Okay, okay. Right, well. anybody else? Do we have any more, Mike? <coughs> I think we should buy it. <coughs> if, if you want to argue about the lease stuff, that's beyond me. They need the they need the truck to replace that international. The international is on its way out. Right, but to the chairman's point, are we going to get us back in the situation that we talked about this year with the other matter? With the other, I'm talking about with the so the other five year lease that we were. They're running the show. Let them worry about it. Uh, look. Okay. We we. Uh, are you all set, Mike? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Jerry. You know. If DRA is going to weekly recommend, I mean, they're not standing up. They're not being bold about it. Come on. And uh, I don't know. I didn't sit in on your uh, your municipal association meeting uh, when they had two people here. I don't know if oh. they phrased it. Look, I read it. I understand it. I know what they're doing. Okay, I can read it. Now, <clears throat> are we illegal? I don't know. We don't have anything or anybody saying we are. Oh, yeah. I just did. Okay, good. But certainly DRA didn't say it. And uh, well, DRA cannot say it by law. Then why are we even asking them? Because it's the closest thing to official I could get. Uh, yeah, DRA right. did not give a weak advice. They gave clear advice. But it was only advice. It was because they're only authorized by law to give advice. The word recommend, you know. Jerry, I recommend that you buy a brand new car this year. No, I don't want to buy a brand new car this year. No, of course not. We know that. 
<laughs> no, I mean, you know, recommend means recommend. Right, <laughs> and I recommend people don't, right. don't encourage people to break the law. Uh, anybody else? Y'all ready to vote on this? Get it over Can with? Can somebody move it? I'll move. I'll move that we purchase this vehicle per, per Second. the Article 26. No, we did not. Moved by Zanoy, seconded by Plouffe. That was when I was a little We're all set on the conversation, thank God. Yeah. Uh, all, all those in favor of uh, recommending, raise your hand. Okay, Mr. Everybody Except Me. <laughs> and I'm a no. <laughs> <laughs>